uh, deep sea fishing tournament uh, that was hosted by Capcana, um, as well as the ILTA tournament, which is the International Light Tackle Association. Uh, last year they hosted the White Marlin tournament, which is done on, on lighter tackle and is a little bit uh, of a different program than, than fishing for blue marlin. This year, uh, Capcana has taken over the White Marlin tournament. Uh, has added an additional uh, tournament that will last eight weeks. It'll be called the Anzuelo de Oro. Uh, a very interesting idea that will last eight weeks and at the end be a running tally tournament uh, with a minimum and a maximum number of departures for each, each vessel. Uh, there aren't many requirements actually. Uh, all tournaments are invitational. Uh, mm -hmm. We work closely with our friends at uh, Club Nautico in Santo Domingo, as well as various other clubs in, um, in the Lama Romana, uh, Boca Chica area, as well as Puerto Rico and Venezuela. Uh, really it's a minimum size for your vessel, uh, as long as you have a vessel at least 30 feet in length. Uh, you can participate. All anglers have a, a minimum age requirement of 16 years of age. Uh, and aside from that, all you really need is um, is the right boat, the right equipment, and the right amount of luck. Uh, visitors by boat come from a lot of different places. Uh, mainly the United States, about 30% encompass um, the American population uh, of visitors. Uh, we also have many visitors obviously from Puerto Rico, which is just a short distance away from us, about 65 miles. Uh, also the Virgin Islands, St. Thomas, uh, Venezuela, uh, and of course different parts of the Dominican Republic as well. The awards this year are basically awards that are given um, for stays uh, at Cap Cana. For example, a first place stay might get four nights at a luxury villa at the Calatone. Um, we also have an interesting uh, relationship with uh, the folks at Porto Banus in Spain. Uh, we have a reciprocal where the, uh, some of the winners from our tournament here will participate uh, and be automatically entered into uh, the tournament in Porto Banus. Um, so, our prizes here aren't really focused so much on, on, on cash or money, more um, uh, enjoying different aspects of the country, different aspects of Cap Cana, um, and getting to know different people at different places and experiencing different events at, at different marinas. interesting part of, of our, our tournament setup this year, or what we like to call uh, the Temporada de Pesca. Uh, what we've developed this year is a very unique idea uh, to encompass an entire season where we bring vessels and competitors and anglers from all different parts of the Caribbean, uh, the United States, uh, Bahamas, South America, uh, to come to Cap Cana, enjoy Cap Cana. Um, and stay for the season. Um, our marlin season here begins normally in the, the middle part of May and lasts through the middle part of August. So we have a nice uh, three to four month uh, time period where folks can come and enjoy the facility uh, and of course enjoy world renowned marlin fishing here as well. We've got a lot of dolphin, or what most people like to call mahi-mahi, uh, or dorado as, as we call it here in the Dominican Republic. There's also wahoo, there's also sailfish, pez vela, mm -hmm. um, jacks, tuna. Um, really you find the same species here that you would find at any other major uh, sport fishing destination in the world. 
Um, however, marlin is really our focus, and it's really the most popular uh, deep sea sport fishing species out there, just uh, from the simple fact of, of the thrill of the catch of, of that particular species. It has a very large following. I think Cap Canna Marina um, is one of the nicest marinas that I've ever seen before. Um, and, that, and that includes travel uh, pretty much all over the world. Uh, Australia, uh, South America, Central America, Mexico, Bahamas, Bermuda. Um, we have an extremely beautiful facility that is state of the art. That offers a, a full range of products and services that you find anywhere else at any other major destination. Uh, I think that when you look at the marina, uh, you think back toward uh, stylings of the Mediterranean. Uh, there's, a, there's an Italian influence. Um, it's absolutely uh, the most beautiful marina facility uh, that I've had the pleasure of seeing.